Coming up, colossal stingrays, hideous sharks, ancient crustaceans, and more. Join us as we have a look at some of the oldest prehistoric creatures that still exist today. The Giant Salamander Our list is comprised of creatures that, for one reason or another, were able to last the test of ages with their unique evolutionary behavior, but this one is a little more confusing. The giant salamander is the largest amphibian in the world, and it lives in China. This gargantuan lizard can grow up to 5 feet 9 inches long, and scientists say that the giant salamander walked the earth 170 million years ago and is still around today. The critter is almost completely blind, surviving by digging holes in the mud and eating worms, crayfish, and as bad as it sounds, smaller salamanders. Hey, it's one way to live for a millennia. The giant salamander doesn't often harm humans, but they do get a little bit aggressive during mating season. Now, it's not uncommon for rival males to try and kill each other over who has the best mud hole, and it goes to show that brains might not have been the trait that kept them alive for so long. Though they've been around for over 100 million years, the giant salamander is now critically endangered due to habitat degradation along with human interference, and they may not last another million. The Giant Stingray Camouflage is a rather unique and interesting survival tactic that works for species across almost all walks of life, and the most successful hunters, well, they've used this tactic to survive for as long as man has been around. The Giant Stingray is a very appropriate name for this ancient creature because they can grow up to 7 feet in diameter, weighing well over 1,000 pounds. These hunters live in the murky river bottoms of Thailand, Australia, and New Guinea, and they eat mostly small fish and invertebrates. Now you may be wondering how such a gigantic flat disc of fish is able to hunt at all. Well, that's where the 15-inch poisonous barbed spike comes in. The tail of this creature is a deadly weapon and can penetrate bone, as the stingray skewers its prey. This beast is one of the largest freshwater fish in the world, and science says that it's been around for over 100 million years. Despite the success of the giant stingray, it's now on the endangered species list. That's because it's been overfished and its habitat has been destroyed. So its days on the murky bottoms of these southern rivers may be numbered if conservation efforts are not better put into place. The Lamprey while a lot of these creatures may look a little odd, some of them can be downright terrifying, and the lamprey is one of the older living fossils, with science saying that its ancestor dates back a whopping 360 million years. The lamprey is essentially a worm with undulating rows of teeth, and it can grow to three and a half feet long. The lamprey eats fish, but not exactly in the way that you may think. While some modern-day predators do enjoy the revolutionary concept of biting and eating smaller fish, lampreys take a more classic approach and just burrow into the side of the fish until the guts come leaking out. It's a tried-and-true system, even if it is a little bit gross, and these beasts can live off of the coasts and in freshwater around the world, feeding off of trout and other fish. In fact, in Finland, Sweden, and South Korea, the lamprey is considered a delicacy. The Goblin Shark On the topic of horrifying prehistoric monsters, if you're named after a fantasy villain, odds are good that you're not exactly the beauty queen. The Goblin Shark is a beast of the deep, dark seas, and if you look the way that it does, you may prefer a world without light too. These gigantic toothy predators can grow to be 11 feet long and are of a surprising pink color. The ancestors of the goblin shark are said to have dated back 125 million years by scientists. You know, when the ocean was rather different than it is today? These horned creatures swam alongside the megalodon, the famous 80-foot great white shark, and while the megalodon may have been big, it didn't have the goblin shark's resilience. The goblin shark lives in the deep ocean all around the world, and occasionally are brought up by fishing trawlers, 
Because their preferred habitat is a much more dense area than the surface water where they're caught, goblin sharks haven't lived long enough in shallow water to be properly studied, and very little is actually known about these interesting, although hideous, creatures. In fact, deep water sharks have been around for a long time, because while the surface world changes at an alarming rate with human interference, the pace of life at the bottom of the ocean has been the same for eons. The Alligator Gar Not all of these living fossils are at the bottom of the sea, or even off of mysterious coasts. Some of them live right in the heart of the United States. The Alligator Gar is a colossal fish that lives in freshwater lakes and rivers in North America. It has two rows of razor-sharp teeth and a bladder that enables it to breathe air. Now, by no means does this mean that the alligator gar can flop its way around on land. However, it is able to breathe in smaller pools of water where other fish might suffocate. This characteristic may be the reason that the alligator gar is said to have been around for over 100 million years. Its diet is mostly made up of other fish, and because of its stalking ability and tremendous appetite, it was indiscriminately culled by sports fishermen in the 1980s. Now there are new measures in place to ensure the survival of the species, but the numbers are a lot lower than they have been for a millennia. Early inhabitants of North America are said to have used the gar's unique and hard scales as arrowheads, along with armor. Solenodon. It's important to remember that not all prehistoric creatures are horrendously ugly. The Solenodon is comparatively cute. Though it is a venomous burrowing mammal that looks a lot like a large shrew and lives on the islands of the Caribbean. The name means sloth-toothed. And this little critter has been kicking around largely unchanged for what science believes to be over 75 million years. Their venomous bite is much like a neurotoxic bite of some snakes and can cause breathing difficulty, paralysis, and convulsions. Cute and dangerous. They don't really harm humans though, and do spend most of their time eating pretty much anything small enough to munch on, including worms, insects, amphibians, and carrion. The key to survival is sometimes just having a more broad diet. They burrow and hide during the day and feast at night. However, the Solenodon population is at risk due mainly to being preyed upon by small Asian mongoose, which were introduced to hunt snakes during colonial times. Conservation efforts are currently underway for the cute contender of a living fossil. The Ant Insects are found all over the planet and have been roaming on the ground and in the trees since time began. A unique divergent ancestor of ants, however, still does walk the earth in the Amazon. The Martilialis herica ant was discovered in 2000 in the rainforest near Brazil. Its unique morphology would suggest that it broke off from the evolutionary chain and is said to have done so for what science considers to be 120 million years ago and has remained unchanged ever since. These types of ants tend to live underground, but their specific build doesn't really make them adept at digging, suggesting that they lived in pre-existing holes or abandoned tunnels and logs. The Pelican The ability to grab and hold your prey has been developed by countless creatures in a lot of really unique ways, but once an animal can do it, they tend not to change that much. And the modern day pelican is one such animal. The large long beak of the creature was relatively an early adaptation that didn't require any alteration. Scientists believe that the pelican is surprisingly old, with record on their part showing it to have been around for over 30 million years. Fossils found in France show that the beak on these birds is almost exactly the same even after a millennia, and that goes to support the rule. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. The Horseshoe Crab most of these prehistoric creatures appear to be pretty ancient, but this one really looks the part. The horseshoe crab is one of the oldest living creatures that's still in existence today, and they live in shallow ocean waters and come to shore to breed. The armor plating and breeding patterns have ensured the survival of the species for an alarmingly long time, and scientists believe that the horseshoe crab dates back over 450 million years, which would make it a truly living fossil. 
They have several sets of eyes and five pairs of legs for walking, swimming, and bringing food into their mouths. The strong tail is also used to flip the crab over if it's ever upside down. And horseshoe crabs with broken tails are quickly purged from the population. The degradation of the shoreline and overfishing is impacting the numbers of these unique creatures, and it's possible that human interference will do what hundreds of millions of years of survival could not. The Sea Sponge Some creatures are so old that it's incredibly difficult to even determine, well, exactly how old they really are. Sea sponges are believed to have been around for longer than we can even know and are a unique group of animals that have all adapted to all manner of sea living. The creatures are porous, and they don't have any kind of nervous, digestive, or even circulatory system. And so, they just rely on water flow to push food and oxygen to them. Mostly, the sponges will prey on bacteria, however, some are known to actually eat crustaceans. The sponges are also able to transform their bodies in order to fit into different ecological niches and have been around for what science believes to be 650 million years or more. Now, they do move, they just do it very, very slowly, at a rate of 0.15 inches per day, making their way across the seabed seeking out more food and oxygen. Some sponges have even adapted to amoeba-like movement, while others are stationary for their entire adult lives. Most sponges are also hermaphrodites, having the characteristic of both male and female in order to reproduce. They can live a hilariously long time, and specimens will grow 0.007 inches per year. And also, because some of them have reached over three feet long, it suggests that they're 5,000 years old, if not more. Now, it might not be an exactly exciting life, but it's certainly a long one and has lasted the test of time. The Giant Squid Release the Kraken One of the scariest discoveries in the past decade has been that of the Giant Squid. Despite its rather unimpressive name, the Giant Squid is an awe-inspiring animal. Well, maybe terror-inducing animal. In 2006, Japanese fishermen began to report seeing freakishly large tentacles climbing up the sides